Hi, welcome to Learning Made Easy. Today we're going to look at Inspiration 9 and creating visual maps. It's great for essay planning and just putting your ideas together in a visual way. Let's start off by opening up a diagram and decide what we're going to do. Why don't we look at essay plan today and work from there. So first in the middle symbol just type in essay plan. Now to create your first symbol you can go right to the top left hand corner which says create here. If I scroll round to the direction you want to do or an easier way is just hold the control button then left click on the mouse to create your first symbol saves you going up there so the first one we could put in there is understanding a question you might have an essay to do first thing you need to do is actually understand what you're going to put in your essay so why don't we create subtitles off of there so let's do a sub paragraph or subtitles click the control click once click understanding again hold control left click on the mouse again we've got two more symbols so let's type in there uh, how about topic of essay and we go to our second symbol and we could put in there uh, focus of essay now if we go back to your first symbol first we need to do is add information so the topic of the essay you're actually going to do the point of this is is to get your ideas down in a visual map so you can plan it step by step so with topic of essay highlighted we need to go up to the top ribbon bit here and click note now that window's too small don't worry drag the bottom right hand corner to make that window bigger and then you can just start typing in the topic of your essay the whole point of this really is to get your ideas down first and to plan it if there's too much free space here just click that little arrow button there and that will squeeze it up so you can see everything clearly I can leave that open or I can click the little X button there and then it attaches itself to that symbol. Keeps it nice and tidy. Do the same with focus of essay. So we need to go back up to note, drag that bigger if need be, and then we can type in what you're going to focus on. And generally you can put your ideas down or you can add bullets or whatever you want to do with those. I'm just going to close that window now. Let's have a little look at our map. So we've got your essay plan, understanding the question, then we've got the topic of essay, which we can access any time we want, and close that, and we've got focus of essay. Next thing you could do is colour code symbols. You might want to colour code stuff as a legend. So let's choose the colour code in the middle button here is your fill colour, and the outside colour here is your line colour. So let's add a fill colour there. I'm going to add a turquoise bluey colour and I might even change that to maybe a darker blue so it stands out more as so or if you want see they're both different there you highlight them both click the middle button and then you can definitely choose correct colours and there we go there's the first part of our map and we've got a topic of essay and we've got our focus of essay next thing we're going to need to do is create a second symbol hold the control button click the button there the next thing you could do maybe is research so we can start linking stuff to that but before I carry on here I'm just gonna stop and I'm going to the top left hand corner and show you this little button here called outline I'll click it once this will take us into linear format text format which is good as you're structuring something so you can see it better also would be a good idea if it's here I've got essay plan and the first we've got understanding the essay what you could put on here if you want you could put a schedule so we could put you're going to spend five days putting your essay together the kind of topic of the essay what you're going to focus on first off and for research you might put I'm just going to spend three days doing my research so we'll just stick three days there now if I click back to diagram visual view again we can carry on so you've got research three days understanding essay five days now don't worry too much about that, I'll show you in a minute how to change that and you can view that differently so you can actually view what you're looking at next we're going to do is research so click a little symbol of research first place you could do research would be the web maybe so if I drag that over there so now we need a hyperlink, a website that we can link to with that highlighted go up to hyperlink button it's currently on web so just type in your address you want to link it to as part of your research I'm just going to put google.com 
obviously you'd put a, a site that you've been researching there with the source. You can see it's turned blue, which indicates it's now a hyperlink. So when you click on that hyperlink, it will bring that web page straight open. So we can do that with the second symbol. We can put that, remember control, left click, and we could have there maybe books and journals. You might have scanned off books or journals. We can out link them from your computer by going to hyperlink. This time choose file. You've already got the hyperlink text, so now you choose the file that you want to link to. So let's see if we can find a file. I don't think I've already got anything of great interest. But I'll put something in there. There you go, drag and dictate commands, click OK. And as you can see, if I click on that link, it will then bring it up straight away. So it's just a great way for you to link stuff, all your research. I mean, you might even want to add your lecture notes in there, if you want. Or the actual recording, it doesn't matter. You can link whatever you want, because when you click on there, hit the hyperlink button. With file, you can link anything, because it opens up in its own application. So is that our research done yet? Yeah, there's one thing missing here, if we want to. If I drag them out a little bit, see it clearer. Why don't we colour code this? So I'm going to make them... I'm going to make them a yellow colour to stand out and research because I want them to stand out. Understanding the SA five days are different colours, so I can see I've got five days I want to spend on that. Research three days, so I'm going to make that a ready colour like that. And there we go, so far so good. So if we go back up to our outline top left, let's see how it's structuring. SA plan, understanding the SA, five days I'm going to spend on getting my topic of SA and focus of F SA information together. Next is research for three days, so I'm going to spend three days doing my research and those various sources. While we're actually in this mode, you're probably wondering, can you work in linear mode as well? Well, of course you can. So if I click topic, we can do a new topic here. <coughs> so as you can see the new topic, it's gone to D. So if I go back to diagram, here it is it will come off the main research three days but that's not what you want so let me show you go to outline we don't want that so we can get rid of that just click left and there you go you create a new topic if I go back to diagram it's now created a new topic of the main essay plan so we've got understanding a question so essay we've got research three days why not make this how about uh, plan and maybe organize your ideas depending on what you really want to do drag that over there so now we can create sub we to create sub branches off of there highlight it hold the control button click once left button twice hold the control down left button three times now we can plan and organize your ideas we're putting various information in there and breaking it down in there rational argument maybe uh, maybe established point of view and so on so the whole point is you're breaking your essay planning in sections visual sections then you can plan it step by step which kind of makes life a little bit easier in a sense it's more organized then if you wanted to, you could have your final branch here, and you could have that, maybe do your draft for your essay. And why not break that down? One, again, control, two, three. Why not break your essay down and have intro, main body, and of course, conclusion. And then what you can do is you break your essay down into three sections. You can add a note, obviously, to add the information into there. If I drag that to the right. When you have a note open, by the way, if you don't like that horrible yellow colour, then it's easy. You can change that, for example. Let me close that. I'm going to go back to topic of essay and open up a note there. Now, that's a yellowy colour. It doesn't match the blue. Well, why not make that blue? So if I actually click on the note, come down to the bottom, click the middle button, which is your fill colour, and then you can change it. Or if you prefer, because that's a bit dark with the black, why not make 
the insides maybe fill colour white. There we go. And that will kind of match then with that symbol. As so. And of course you can do it with that one as well. It, it just gives you that official mapping and you can organise things better. Going on official mapping, I'll show you quickly as well. You probably notice this little symbol box here. Well, this is great because we've got loads of Google Clip Art in there. So let's pop in. What shall I put in there? How about SA? It actually searches online, so you have to be on the internet. It has got a built in database of Clip Art as well. So it's found 14 on SA. If I click through it, let's find something that looks kind of relevant. I'm actually going to put it on. That'll do. And there you go. You can drag that bigger by holding it the left button and dragging it out and that gives you the visual mapping as well if you don't want to do visual mapping for example you might go well, I'm going to change the shape of the draft section or you have got your basic shapes here or no symbols if you prefer but if you click the little drop down arrow here you can actually add a new symbol library if you want so let's call this my one click OK so now what I can do is if I click the little button here, libraries, go right down and I can edit sim library. So I can start adding symbols by importing graphics. So let's import a graphic for my pictures. Nothing interesting in there, but I just throw some that though. Kind of like that picture. I'll do standard size. That's now in there. So I'll click OK. So now I can access that. So what that means if I click on for example draft, double tap that, it will put that there for you. By the way, if you want a frame on that, if you come to the top here, you've got symbol, go to frame and you can frame that as well. You can even change the colour of that frame if you don't want it blue. Look, if you come down to the fill colours here, there you go, you can have it green if you want. That doesn't exactly match blue, but that's just to show you. Also very useful, if you click this little arrow here, if you go to thinking and planning. And if you go along to arrows, box frames, you've got loads of flow charts, idea boxes and number boxes. So if I click on the flow charts, if I click on the here, I could click on any symbol I want. It's totally up to you what you want to do, just do another flow chart there. And how you want to change that up. So the visual mapping is fantastic for visual thinkers and it will really get you to organise your work properly. But let's go back to linear view top left hand corner outline. Now we're looking at it in linear format, text format, and it's all organised and it's looking good. I did understand in SA five days, research three days. So how long am I going to spend planning and organising my ideas? How about I might just spend three days on that. I'm a lazy geek person. Go to draft. I might spend actually five days in doing a draft, getting it right. So let's go back to diagram. Now even though I've added them in here, as you can see, five days, three days, it's still not very organised, it doesn't really show up. So why don't we show checklist? So go up to tools and tick show checklist. And that will add a little tick to each option. So as you go along, you can tick off. You notice when I tick the main title here, it ticks off the subtitle showing that you've actually done that. So you can tick as you go along which is excellent. You can untick as well if you haven't finished all the subtopics here which is excellent. Now let me go back to outline. Now you see where I've added all these days I'm going to spend on doing each. This is what you can do. So if we go up to the tools option here and we can click summation. Before I do that I need to click on essay plan because that's where it's all going to add up all the days you're going to spend doing your essay plan. So I'm going to click the cursor there and then we can go to tools. Now you've got to choose how you want the numbers and days for example. I've got five days so I need to put in here space days and as you can see at the bottom of the example the number is going to be followed by the word days. So that's how it's going to show up here. Let me show you what I mean. There we go. 16 days I'm going to spend doing my essay. Get back to the diagram and there you go, you planned your essay. One other point here, it's in the clip art, if you don't like the colours in that clip art, you can play around with them at the bottom here with the colour section. Bear in mind, it doesn't tell you what's what, but you can just kind of uh, match the colours to the clip art. So let's change this here. 
give him some crazy hair. I don't think we had to do his eyebrows, I'm not sure what colour they are, but I'll give it a go. Mm, not really. And to try one more. Let's change maybe his top so we know that's blue. Let's make that black. And there you go, just something you can play around with as well. So that's how you plan an essay. The other thing, just last thing you might want to use at the bottom here is your formatting options. But if you click this little button here, click little arrow, it's called Change Draw Tool. And let's click on there, for example, text box. You can just pop in a title for your essay there as well if you want. Entirely up to you, it just gives you the option. And again, you can change the size of that by highlighting it and choosing your font size there. And there we go, an essay title. The next thing you can do is export it, transfer it to a Word document, but I'll show you that in a later tutorial. Thanks for watching.